Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are work item templates. Okay, with work item templates, uh, you can easily create work items like user stories, tasks, uh, bugs with pre-populated values for your team's commonly used fields. For example, say you are working on a project where you have to create uh, multiple work items, but the fields and other configuration related to the work items will remain same. So in those kind of situation, what you can actually do is you can create something called a work item template, which will actually create a work item with the pre-populated values, which will be very useful for you uh, in, in, in terms of uh, time saving um, and other stuffs as well. Okay. So let's see how we can uh, use this work item templates in an Azure DevOps. So if you go to project settings, under project settings, under boards, you have team configurations. Under team configurations, if you go to templates, okay, so there are different work item types here. You have bugs, epic feature, tasks, user story, etc. Okay, so for example, if you want to create a user story or a task, with the pre-populated values. For example, let's say, let me go to a user story and try to create a template. I will give a, I will give this template a meaningful name. Let me call it as um, payment. Okay, so I'm I'm just dealing with few payment related uh, stuffs, right? So I'm giving payment uh, gift card. Okay, and. I will add a new field. So the description is optional. If you want to add description also, it's fine. That is just for your reference purpose. Okay. And uh, field, let me say if I want to create a description. Okay. Payment related user story. Okay. Um, so this is one of the field. And let's say I want to add priority okay by priority should be three as of now okay all right so and then let's say i want to add tags okay tags can be um payment what else can we add let's say let's say you want to add title as well payment gift card for now okay so, so so yeah similarly you can add whatever fields that your team needs okay which are going to be reusable by all the team members so those kind of situation you can create a template and specify those fields so once i add these fields i can save it as soon as i save it this template got created you can see my template called payment gift card actually got created here you can actually, uh, you have options to edit. Edit will take you to that edit page and rest of the usual stuffs like deleting the template, copying the link, create a, you can create a copy of this template. Sim, sim, such way that you can play with the templates as well. Now let's see how we can actually use this template in our Azure boards. Now if I go to Azure boards, let me go to work items. So there is a uh, new work item type, right? So what we created a user story template, right? So whenever I try to create a user story, if I go to this particular option, the three dots at the right hand side and select the templates, you can see a new template uh, called payment gift award, whatever we created came across. So once I select this, what happens is you can clearly see all the fields that we have specified got pre-populated here, like payment gift card, payment is the tag which we added, we added the priority, we added the description. Okay, all these things got pre-populated. Similarly, if you want to pre-populate any other fields, you can add it into a template, which will actually be really helpful uh, in, uh, in, in the effort of creating a work item. Uh, it will actually help you save a lot of time and again, it will avoid a lot of confusion whenever there are a lot of static fields uh, and you, you want to follow the same format with the entire team. 
so you can follow that uh, template which will be really helpful to actually help you standardize the process that uh, standardize the work item uh, so that you are using across your project okay so as soon as i have this i can save it okay so this is the easiest way of creating a template and using it in the work item let's see uh, one more example okay let's see let's take a uh, task okay now we saw a user story now you saw you go to a task i am opening a task called paypal here if i click on this three uh, click on three dots and templates you can see there is no option called templates because the templates is work item specific what we did is we created a template for user story earlier but we did not create any for any other work item type so since this is a task okay so th that option is that previously created template is not showing so you have either you can go and create it um, on the uh, project settings or you can capture it here so this will take you to that particular uh, capture template page so what you can do is you can give a team name you can give the template name let's call it as uh, payment paper okay and what else let's say you wanna have this as three um, value area business if you wanna add new field also you can do that let's say you wanna add tax tax as let's say paypal okay so now i'm gonna say this value area uh, what is this value area cannot find field common dot value area okay, what is the what is the mistake i'm making here okay this particular field is not present so i'm gonna change it to uh, like a title okay the title is already there I'm gonna change it to state. Okay, the state can be the state is already there too. Okay, let me remove this. Okay, for now it is not necessary. Let's just try to focus on the templates alone. What's happening? Common dot value area. It's, I think it got created. Let me go and try this yeah now my template got created so as soon as i select this you can see tag got added priority got changed to three and uh, what else few other informations like title and all those stuffs also got saved here if you want to double check let's go and try to create a new task let's see new task once you go to this task and select the template paper now you can see all the items got pre-populated here okay so this way you can actually use work item templates to capture all the reusable fields across your work items in the project okay so this will help you save a lot of time and help you standardize the process of handling work items across your project okay so that's all what i want to cover as part of this basic video guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you